Welcome back to another episode of Cooking on a Dime. Today we are going to make a Sweetheart Strawberry White Velvet Valentine's Cake. Hopefully we're going to keep this quick and simple. Starting with 310 grams of buttermilk separated, we are going to take half a cup of that and combine it quickly together with 113 grams of oil and set to the side. Then we are going to take our remaining buttermilk, combine it with our 158 grams of egg whites, and our two teaspoons of vanilla, and again, stir to combine, and set to the side. In the bowl of our stand mixer, we are going to combine 396 grams of flour, 300 grams of white sugar, 1 tablespoon baking powder, half a teaspoon baking soda, 1 teaspoon salt, and give it a quick stir. Then we are going to add 170 grams softened but not melted butter and stir until our flour resembles a crumbly mixture. Then we are going to add our oil and buttermilk mixture to our stand mixer and we are going to stir on medium speed. If you do not stir for at least a minimum of two minutes at this point, your cake will likely be very dense and flat. This is a necessary step in order to introduce aeration into your cake. Please make sure you do it. When your cake batter starts to look like this, you can stop, scrape down the sides of the bowl before adding your remaining buttermilk and egg mixture and giving it another stir on medium until it's nice and light and fluffy. Once fully incorporated and your batter begins to look like this, you can go ahead and spread it between two prepared round cake pans and bake it in the oven at 355 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. When removing it from the oven, make sure you bang it very hard just once on the counter. This will release the steam in that spongy cake and allow that, that velvetiness of it to come out a little better. While that bakes, we are going to make our cream cheese buttercream frosting. We are going to start with eight ounces or one block of cream cheese and beat until smooth. One cup softened unsalted butter. Three drops red food coloring. And three cups powdered sugar and beat until nice and fluffy and stiff and easily pipable. Once you remove the cake from the oven and allowed it to cool, you may decorate to your liking. In this case, we are filling with a strawberry jam made from fresh strawberries that we had prepared earlier. And we will be frosting the outside with our prepared buttercream cream cheese frosting and decorating on top with some leftover strawberries. But you feel free to decorate it however you see fit. This cake is moist and fluffy and light and sure to impress all of your friends and family this Valentine's Day. Random food fact for you, it is commonly believed that velvet cakes have chocolate in them, but that is false. A red velvet cake may have a little bit of cocoa powder in it to help enhance the flavor, but the velvetness of it itself has nothing to do with chocolate. It is all about how it is prepared with that whipped sort of textured batter. And now you know. If you like this video and want to stay in the loop as to what's coming up next for us, please hit that subscribe button and we will see you next time on Cooking on a Dime. Bon appétit!